Hi, just getting set up. We're going to take a ride out to the countryside today. Going to look for a great spot to paint. It's beautiful out here. I've been at my home studio for a few days doing some cleanup work and some larger work in the studio. But today I think uh, is a, the perfect day to go out and do some painting outside. So um, just setting my car up and I'm packing it. So uh, my art supplies are here and I'm ready to take off. We're out on the marsh, and uh, I think this is probably a good spot for me to try to find a place to paint. So, um, yeah, it's really pretty out here. It's high tide. Um, a lot here to paint. So let's take a little walk, and we'll see what else we can find, um, and see exactly where I want to set up. Right there is where they bring their boats and put them in for the day. The marsh is that's just a couple of miles away from my house. It's still on the island. I live on Anastasia Island in St. Augustine, and this is not too far. It's a great little spot. Uh, I come here occasionally to do painting uh, because the marsh is gorgeous here. There are these amazing trees that I often paint. So I might. Uh, just take a quick walk over there and see if it's something I want to work on. So come on along. So the marsh trees are an interesting subject to paint. I enjoy painting trees. They're, um, they have a really interesting life. In the marsh here, uh, there's a lot of wind coming from the beach side, which is this direction. So it kind of pushes the trees into a natural slant very interesting shapes. Yeah, those are the trees. I'll paint these today. Just doing a quick sketch to work out where the trees are going to be placed. I like the placement of the trees a little lower for this composition. I think I'll leave a lot of sky and show off the tops of the trees. Working out some darks. First thing I do when I get my canvas out is I start the sketch. Just quick, you know, it takes me a few seconds to work out a quick sketch on the shapes and now I'll put some darks in. I paint in oils and the process to do an oil painting is you start out with darks and as you progress through the painting I'll get lighter and lighter and lighter as I go on. But Get the basic dark shapes first. So the shadows under the trees, the dark patterns and the shapes in the trees. And then I'll wipe off, put in, wipe off, put in. Um, it's kind of a, almost a sculpting. Um, you put in darks, you take away, and you just kind of sculpt it until you get the right shapes and the right pattern. Now I'll start to add a little bit of color. I've been working with basically brown and blue and now I'm adding some nice grays. The trees today are pretty gray. I'm enjoying just sitting out here. Uh, county lawn service is working its way in the trees in the back. It's fun to watch as it's going past my trees. I'm getting some background in now trying to get the horizon line. 
and I keep reshaping places. Uh, I'm working on the sky a little bit, just making a really light sky. But I'm reshaping places, I'm adding things, I'm taking things away still, and I'll do that the whole painting until I get the shape that I want and the colors that I want. I'm liking the way this is going and I'm just enjoying sitting out here. The trucks and the cars and the boats that go by waiting to go into the water. I have been enjoying this outside, but it's time to clean up for now and head on back to the studio to finish up the painting and to work on the details. Wow, it really looks different seeing it inside. The painting looked a lot bluer and it looked darker when I was sitting outside. But when you come in the studio, it does change. You, you're not dealing with the bright sun anymore and that bright sun and the just kind of makes it a totally different painting and now I can see it for what it really is uh, so I'm working with the browns and I like it and I will be changing colors as you can see here I'm working with a, some of the lighter lights in the trees and um, just kind of filling in with more colors more yellows and now I'll get some darker darks in those trees. It, it's interesting how the darks kind of disappear when you're working on the lights and so I have to go back and forth putting some darks in, putting some lights on top of them um, and I keep going and re-establishing the darks all the time because I lose them. At this stage I'm not after rendering the trees perfectly. You know, I could take photographs of it and that would be a perfect rendering. I'm not a photographer, I'm a painter. So what I try to do is to change it and make it more wistful and moody and remember what I was thinking what I was feeling that day that I was out there. It's not about doing a perfect rendition of these trees. I don't want that. I want to be painterly. I enjoy putting little bits and bobs all around and just, you know, working it and making it flow and making it a little moody. Uh, I want to capture what I was feeling when I was out in the field and what I'm feeling now. I didn't like the shapes of those trunks, so I can change them. It's not what I see in the photograph, or it's not what I was out there painting before, but in the studio, I feel free to change whatever I want to make the picture a better picture. So as I start working on the details, it's towards the end of the painting, and the details take a lot longer than the initial sketch. Uh, trying to get the values and recorrect the values, and you know, eventually I will sign it, and I'll usually sign it towards the end of a painting, but not at the very end of the painting. And again, I need to reestablish those darks, especially at the end as I'm finishing the details. Well, I've lost a lot of those darks that I put in in the beginning. Um, so just working, making sure I have good pattern. Reestablishing some good color. The trees were a little green, so I put kind of a smoky green on the top of those. I try to get a grayish smoky color a lot. It, it's very moody. I mean, I w wouldn't want a Christmas tree green in those trees. It just wasn't the color of the trees, and it's not the first green I go to. Greens are a little tricky because you think green should be 
bright green and it's not. It's out in nature, everything's a little grayish. Just details are coming in, finishing touches, little edges and patterns and reestablishing. I go through a list of things in my head as I'm finishing. Are the edges soft? Do I have enough dark? Put sky holes in there. And I just go through this list in my mind that I've learned over many, many years and I've done on every single painting. Just edges and finishing touches. I think I like the trees. Kind of finished with those. Put a couple little reds up there, but I'm working mostly to finish up and work on the ground a little bit. I'm gonna pull in some burnt reds and ochres down in the foreground a little bit and just make sure that's all darkened up. I think it's, I think pretty much done. So if you like this, please subscribe, leave some comments. I'd really like to hear from you. And uh, check out my webpage where you can see more of my paintings. So see you next time. Thanks. Bye.